became angry. And he introduced me to myself. That they're going to change. That's why I'm the way I am now. What's up, y'all? Today we will be reading from the book of St. John, chapters 1 and 2. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this moment, the opportunity to learn more and for life. It is morning time and I'm alive. So I'm going to do my very best on today. So I thank you and let's begin. In chapter one, the word becomes human. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Okay, okay. Honestly, guys, I need to grab me a pen. And we're going to begin in verse 9. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that come into the world. And he was in the world, and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. And he came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John's testimony concerning Christ. John bear witness of him and cried saying, This was he of whom I speak. And he that come after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness have we all received and have we all, we all, my bad, <laughs> In verse 16, and of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man have seen God at any time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, he have declared him. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Esaias. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, And said unto him, Why baptist thou then? Why baptizest 
thou then, and thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet. And John answered them in verse 26, saying, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it. I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Beth Barra, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. And the next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me come a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore I am. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. And John bare record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water. The same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. The first disciples, again the next day after John stood, and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following, and said unto them, What seek ye? And they said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interpreted master, where dwellest thou? And he said unto them, Come and see. They came and saw where he dwelt, and abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two which heard from John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon's Peter's brother. And he first found his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found the Messi Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art the Simon, thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. The day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and find Philip and said unto him, Follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the son of Andrew and Peter. And Philip findeth Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him, and whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. And Jesus saw Nathanael come unto him and said of him, Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. And Nathanael said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathanael answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. Thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. In verse 50 of chapter 1, Jesus answered and said unto him, 
Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree. Believest thou? And thou shalt see greater things than these. And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter ye shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Chapter 2 And Jesus turns water into wine. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. And Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour, mine hour is not yet come. And his mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the broom. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning do set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine unto now. This beginning of the miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Jesus throws money changers out of the temple. After this, he went down to Capernaum. He and his mother and his brethren and his disciples and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passovers was at hand. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge, when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all the way out of the temple and the sheep. And the oxen and pearl and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables. And said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou do these things? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in Bodin, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them. And they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name. When they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and he knew it, and he needed not that any should testify of men, for he knew what was in man. And that is the end of the reading today.
three things that caught my attention in St. John chapter one and chapter two. Um, one being rabbi means master. The second thing that caught my attention was Messiah, M-E-S-S-I-A-S, means Christ. So that's some vocabulary for us. Um, and one of the third things that caught my attention was at the end of verse, I mean, at the end of chapter 2, it says in verse 24, but Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. So Jesus knows all of us. He knows all of our hearts. Um, so yeah, this was a good reading today. I inspire you all to go after what you love and to try it. Even if it's your first attempt. The first attempt is always the best attempt. Because you're breaking a barrier. So I wish you guys nothing but the best and take care.